Masterpiece Cloud Costing Module. This guide takes us through a job from start to finish, including the costing up of the job and the creation of an estimate and invoice for the customer. It is assumed that we are familiar with the measuring and planning aspects of Masterpiece Cloud. We select to start a new job and we put in customer details that will later appear in the estimate. We continue and select to have the following rooms. We keep the lounge and stairway in carpet and select to have the utility room in roll vinyl. We draw the lounge and click on the info button and apply an underlay and gripper. We tick to apply our selection to all carpeted rooms. We say that the fitter will do the furniture removal and uplift for all rooms. What we select here will feed directly through to the costing. We say that the customer will do the disposal. This will feed through to the fitting sheet but not affect the costing. For this lounge we will drag on a door going to the utility room and apply a door bar, whose price will also feed through into the costing. The lounge is now complete, so we dimension the utility room. And when we apply room info, we see that most of what we need has already been applied. However, we need to add some screed for the subfloor. We now apply a door which links back to the lounge. With the utility room complete, we define the stairway thus. We have now captured a full set of information for all rooms, so we proceed to do the seam options and cutting plans. At the floor plan, we apply seam options with a 4 metre roll width carpet and a 3 metre roll width vinyl. We then create the cutting plans. With the cutting plans complete, the costing button appears greened, indicating that we are now ready to do the costing. We arrive here at the first costing panel, where the name of the materials that the customer has chosen can be entered. We move on to see the cost breakdown. We see that all the items that we selected when creating rooms have been costed in. However, the system doesn't know the price of the materials yet, so we enter the price per square metre and we can now see the full price of the job. The customer asks to have an extra cover plate, so we edit the number required to two. We can also edit the unit prices or the line item prices or the name of the item if we need to. A typical case is where a minimum fitting charge applies, so we override the calculated fitting charge to show our minimum charge. If there are extra labour items we need to add in, we click on Labour Items and we select to add Hall, Stairs and Landing Supplement, applying it to the carpet area. We also need a can of vinyl adhesive, so we select Supply Items and add it, and apply it to the vinyl area. The cost breakdown now includes the additional items we have selected. If we have made a mistake, we can click on the Dell button to remove the extra line items we have added. The job is now costed. We can click on the internal costing button to see a full breakdown per item plus a cost for each area on its own and the all up cost. Notice at the bottom we can see the amount of VAT, useful for doing business accounts. We also see that an estimate for the customer has been created automatically. The estimate does not provide as much detail as the internal costing. It just gives an all up costing plus a price for each area on its own. Items such as door bars, which don't belong to a particular area, are shown as additional items. 
With the customer happy, we move on to the Offers page to complete the job. On arrival at the Offers page, we see that the button to Create New Offer is greened, indicating we should be creating an offer. This will make all key information visible at this one page and enable job information to be printed or emailed. Now the offer has been created, we can now click to see any of the floor plan, the cutting plans, the fitting sheet, the estimate or the internal costing. We can also select to email information. We select what we want to email and in this case it's the estimate for the customer. The email panel shows how the email will read. We can edit the text of the email body if we wish. The estimate will get attached to the email that we send. We can select to send the email to the customer or we may prefer to email it to our own store for forwarding. After sending the email we get a record which indicates it was sent. We should let the store know the status of the job at the completion of the visit so for this example we will say that the customer has given a clear requirement but has not yet accepted our offer. The store or the estimator may subsequently take acceptance from the customer in which case we change the status to accepted. On acceptance an invoice is automatically created and this is available at the green invoice button. When we click on the invoice button, we are prompted to put in an invoice number. We can arrange that the invoice numbering increments for each invoice generated. However, we can override the prompted invoice number if necessary to give it the required invoice number. An invoice then gets generated as a PDF. Given that the invoice has been created, the email options now include the ability to email the invoice. If we're working on a PC or an iPad, then there is also an option to print. We have now seen a costing being built as the job progresses towards completion. The costing was first presented on screen for discussion with the customer. Then an estimate was emailed and this led to acceptance and an emailed invoice. The whole process can occur in the customer's home with any later revisions typically being done by the salesperson in the store. A product database is provided which can readily be edited to reflect the items that your individual organisation sells and at your own prices. For instance, by including your signatory wording and selecting whether VAT should be charged on labour. Masterpiece Cloud can streamline your business and enhance your productivity whilst also impressing the customer with your professionalism.